Good morning, today's video is two to four Darts Avenue Rainbow on the market with Northwest Real Estate for 420,000. It's just at the end of the main street of town and uh, it's on one title. So you've got this beautiful three bedroom home and then the uh, little shack here. It's uh, got a little shop running out of the front of it at the moment, needs a bit of work, but it's uh, still solid enough it's a pretty good building actually so we'll go and check out inside we'll go to the house first and we'll go from there so i've just stepped inside the entry foyer and i must admit i was just doing the floor plan before and this little section here you'll see from the other side was a bit difficult so we turned right we've come into the lounge room a ceiling fan a split system a wood heater and a little bit of shameless self-promotion So we've got carpet and then we've got uh, flooring here, timber flooring. Through into the kitchen. We've got a double sink, dishwasher, electric appliances. This, this is all as new. Very nice. Opens across to the dining area with another split system. And then we've got the pantry. Look at that for a pantry. I hope my wife's watching this. Look at that. Everything is in a spot. Everything's labelled. Unreal. And it's quite big. Good size. And it's a semi-enclosed patio outside. And that door goes through to the patio. I'm just showing you back this way. So we'll come down the passage back to the front door. That's where we came in, surrounded the lounge. This is the master bedroom, ceiling fan, plenty of built-in robes. Any amount big enough, it's a big bed. And there's still plenty of room around, got a TV point there. Roller shutter on the front, so there's a little remote over there behind the TV. We'll put the shutter up and down, keeps the sun out. Very nice. Bathroom. Now this has been interesting on the bathroom. We've got the powder room here. So you can clean your teeth. Come around here into the shower. Someone can have a shower. And a bath. And the loo. So there's three little sections of the bathroom. And uh, yeah, it's quite good. Back into the kitchen dining. Bedroom number two. More built-in robes. Another ceiling fan. Nice carpet on the floor. Bedroom three. This is a bit of a storeroom, this one. So another ceiling fan. Built-in robes again. Still a good size room because there's two beds in here. But uh, yeah, pretty handy space. Not a lot of wasted space in this house. It's quite an economical floor plan. Through to the laundry. Once again, cupboard space. Look at it all. Tons of it. Little bench there. Looking out into the patio. And the office. Or in this case, the craft room. All tiled on the floor. That door goes outside. So we're just outside in the enclosed patio. So you've got a sliding door at that end, sort of aluminium shutters here. There, that's, there's no window behind that, I had to check myself, but they're aluminium shutters so you can open them up and close them as you like, actually a good idea. And another door back out into the carport. The carport's got a, a roller door on the end and that's an auto door. And what's interesting also about this house is there's two solar systems, solar power systems. There's about, I think it's about 20 panels. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, two systems. They all work together. Beautiful garden.
rear lane access as well. So you've got a big rainwater tank there. You've got the uh, garage plus a workshop area. Concrete and power in there. And the woodshed. And another little storage shed. Sun's not going to be our friend here, but I'll do the best I can. And the gate goes out into the rear lane. And I've just lifted the roller door up to the garage and the workshop. So as you can see, concrete floor, plenty of power in here. Good setup. So I've just come through the back lane into number two. So this is the little house next door. The current owners amalgamated the titles years ago to make it easier to run a little cottage business out of it. But um, they can be split are only amalgamated for the purposes of running a business but uh, at the moment we're selling them as a as a lot even this got concrete floor there's power in there caravan doesn't come with it So I've just come through the back gate into the main part. Once again, another lovely, lovely little garden area. That's the back of the house that we're selling. It needs a bit of work, as I said earlier. Little bungalow here. It's a bit of storage room at the moment, but uh, gives you an idea. A few rainwater tanks, little garden shed. Well, it must have been the laundry at one stage. Well, look at it, used as a garden shed at the moment. Toilet <laughs> and an access between the two properties with another rainwater tank. As you can see, it's that was the bathroom. As you can see, it's uh, been used predominantly for storage. From when the, the owner of the house uh, ran a business from here. The lounge. So we've got Baltic pine flooring. It's a bit of a missing piece of the ceiling up in there, if you can see. I just can't show you through the front two rooms, but there's photos online was the owner of the business that's been run out of there now has just disappeared for a little while so this is number two darts avenue and the house is number four but they're all on the one title as i've said and only hop skip and a jump out of the main street so this is two to four darts avenue rainbow on the market with northwest real estate for four hundred and twenty thousand dollars two properties one title a beautiful brick veneer home and a little one bedroom cottage or two bedrooms depending on how you configure it all on quite a large piece of land if you'd like any more information on this property you can give myself john hadley a call on 0428 560 630 and thank you for watching my video